you have to be open, and, and that's my next question, Yael. You had a fair amount of sex scenes in the first season. I like how you said you have to be open, and then and you then, said yeah, sex no. scenes. That was clever. Like that? It was, uh, it was a pretty obvious segue. <laughs> you're, you're good at what you do. So. Uh, but you did. You had a fair amount. You have you have less in this season, it, it, it seems. And maybe I think there's one or two in the first episode, maybe? Um, I can't remember. I can't remember either. I don't think so much sex the, yeah. the second right. time around. Um, but definitely, I mean, how do we classify intimacy? I don't know. Yes, less flesh, mm -hmm. maybe more connection. Mm. Um, but the, 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 the sex scenes are also a privilege, mm. and we have to see it that way. If it's, if it's written by great people, these people that write the show are really smart. We can trust them. I do feel like those scenes are really necessary. It's a big part of that life. It's a big part of our lives as human beings. Hmm. We crave that intimacy. We crave that touch. We need that. Um, so, so to be able to go into those private moments and try and be authentic with that, rather than some like arched back, you know, like wild <laughs> orgasm, like stuff like, what are the awkward moments? What are the moments when you're like, you know what, I kind of don't want to do this anymore? Like, right. that's what I'm interested in. When it becomes very private, very real, when it does feel like, oh, this is hitting home in a real way. So the show, you know, the show, we're not all dolled up. Yeah. We are very much people. We are very much women, real women. And when you are dolled up, it's actually part of the plot. You've been stealing yeah. and buying makeup, and it's this a huge problem. This one with problem. the red lips, you know, like she. I do get a little happen. makeup. I have to admit, the, I, I get a little does. makeup. Yes, she's the one of the lucky ones. Everyone else gets stripped. <laughs> stripped. It's kind of funny. I mean, in real life, I never wear anything, so it's you know, it's like a yeah. weird karma thing. I get on the show, they give me a world of makeup. <laughs> were you? Were had you already been comfortable with doing sex scenes before? Had you had? Uh, had you done them at all before? <laughs> That's interesting that you would ask that. You know, for somebody, I don't really consider myself like a very sexy person at all, oh, but I have done a lot of sex scenes. You know, I did my, okay, I've never said this, but I did my first sex scene before I'd actually had sex in real life. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so. Do we have the footage for that? Uh, <laughs> it is can, we, can, can we roll the B-roll? <laughs> Thanks, guys, it that won't be distracting. It definitely <laughs> exists somewhere, but I have had experiences and they've all been positive. Wait, so let's yeah. go back to the story, though, of ah. sex scene before actual sex. I want yeah. to go back to that know, story. Yeah, what, how, how did this happen and what was going through your mind? Um, I was working um, with an incredible man named Mark Priestley, who, who was quite a bit older than me, um, and it was a story, it was called The Farm, it's a beautiful uh, ABC drama, and it was beautifully directed by Kate Woods, uh, an incredible Australian director, and it was, uh, it, it was a leap of imaginative faith. You know, a lot of times we, we, we create roles and they're experiences we haven't had, but we have to imagine it. I happened to do that as it a young 15-year-old person, oh. had to imagine into the future in a time when I would be... How old were you? I was 15. Wow. You were 15. Did, was there anyone on set that was like, uh, hey, that's not exactly what you do? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we are exposed to enough. What's the research for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made out a little, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Mastering is not the word that I would use. Um, I think that, that Lorna has an incredibly unique sound, um, which is great because she's an incredibly unique character, and I, I think that that works together, and I'm glad that that works together.